So I jumped ahead a little bit and went ahead and put the uh, the T nut and the X axis limit switch on, tightening it down. And then as this comes to the left, we've already bottomed out. Yes, but we've bottomed out on the screw on the bottom of the switch. Not on anything else, so. Lesson learned. So yeah, we were bottoming out. Now we're bottoming out to the left, which is what we want. But again, you don't want to go all the way, so. We need to move this homing switch a little bit to the right so that it'll engage this stud quicker and stop us. And again, if I get these wrong and I've severely limited my X working area, I can always adjust these later. So there, we've engaged and that'll stop us. Because the idea is we never go this far. You're only gonna go to the, to the far edges when you're working on a really big piece. And I don't really plan on working on really big pieces on this mill, mainly because, well, I just don't plan to. There, that's installed. The X is installed, the Y is installed. The X motor is installed with the belts. All the belts and motors are installed. We are just about done. Well, with the mechanical assembly. Uh, obviously, we've got to run wiring, got to run the wiring for the motors over to the left side. Uh, the left side being where the Arduino will mount. For now, I'll mount the Arduino. I think it goes here. The Arduino will mount here, so that means these motor cables and everything will need to come here because these are your three motor controllers, X, Y, and Z axis, whatever order. So they'll come here, your limit switches, all the wiring comes here because this is what's gonna interface with the computer to send the G code to all this stuff. So all the wiring will come over here. So that's the next step, I'm sure, is to plug in all the wiring and run it over to here. And this is gonna mount here temporarily, um, but then I'm going to build a project box to mount this, the motor control for the spindle, and the cooling fan, all in a project box to have that separate uh, from this and then I'm going to wire in an emergency stop switch and a resume switch uh, and whatnot. So anyway, that's where we are now. Uh, getting ready to do the wiring.